Returning now to one of our top stories, Penny Wong will travel to Beijing today to meet with her Chinese counterpart. So what does this mean for relations between the two countries? Joining me live is Director of the International and Security Affairs Program at the Australia Institute and former advisor to Penny Wong, Alan Beam. Alan, thank you so much for joining us. How significant is this visit by Penny Wong? Oh, good morning, Danika. It is a very significant visit, coming as it does. At the end of this year, which is the 50th year since Australia and China actually signed uh, mutual recognition, and of course coming after a series of very, very important meetings between uh, Prime Minister Albanese and President Xi, and of course between uh, Senator Wong and her counterpart, uh, Mr Wang, the Chinese Foreign Minister. So this has been a gradual build-up, which is now coming to a head when we can get back into business. So can we expect then any major outcomes from the meeting? Uh, well, I think we will have some major outcomes, but they won't be tomorrow. Uh, um, I, I think that we will see uh, a mutual accommodation. That's what happens with diplomacy. And over the next couple of months, we'll have a restoration of trading patterns uh, similar to the ones that we had four or five years ago. Um, I think we will have some movement on uh, Australians detained in China. Uh, that also will be careful and gradual. Uh, because it will be part of uh, an overall recalibration of the relationship, not going back to where we were, but going forward to where we might be. And so I think this particular visit by, by the Foreign Minister is just a, a critical development in bringing us back to normality.